Now that you have drawn all 17 triangles, it's time to calculate the hypotenuse for each. To do this, we will use the Pythagorean theorem. You'll put the two 10 centimeter legs in and work through the Pythagorean theorem. When you get to the square root of 200, don't just estimate that. You need to simplify that radical by breaking it up into the square root of 100 times the square root of 2. Square root of 100 is 10, and so we can write that as 10 square roots of 2. You'll follow that pattern through the rest of your calculations. Be careful when you get to the third calculation because it comes out to the square root of 400, and you can take the square root of 400, it's 20. So this one isn't going to really fit the pattern as you're working through these. Also, when you get to number um, 7, the seventh triangle, it's not going to fit the pattern exactly either. So be just careful that you have all of your radicals simplified and there are no perfect squares underneath the radical. In all, you're going to have 17 triangles. You'll have 16 on the front and one on the back. Be sure you put your name, date, and class period. And make sure that you show all of your work neatly so that you can receive full credit. Good luck.